Hi everyone, Jasmine here from Polish and Glitter. So hoping to God that I am in frame, but today I have for you my fall slash Halloween stash because I'm finally done with the baby shower that I was supposed to be hosting this weekend. So um, yeah, I have a few swaps that I need to get done. So as I said, I just wanna go ahead and show you guys my stash. So first up are these little um, leaves. So I have these really pretty um, fall colored leaves and these are all felt. I believe these are from Hobby Lobby and I have just different shapes and sizes which are really fun to use. And then I have these little acorns and that little flower that I've been hoarding and I haven't used. Um, and this other little uh, photo box container, I have more fall colored leaves. I do separate my green leaves because I can use those year round. So in here I just have Again, fall colored leaves, all sorts of different shapes and sizes. Some of them are wood, some of them are felt, uh, some of them are like this really pretty glitter. Um, and yeah, just different shapes and um, sizes of leaves. So that is that. Um, and here I do keep uh, pumpkins and then some random little wooden acorns. And again, I have all sorts of different sizes and shapes and colors and some of them are wood, some are felt. Um, and then in the bottom I have some really cute little turkeys. I believe these are from Michaels. And then these little felt gourds are from Hobby Lobby. I don't remember where the little wood ones are from, but I do think the little mini ones are from, hopefully I am in frame, yes I am. Um, the little wooden ones are from Michaels, I want to say. Um, then we get into some more Halloween-y themed ones. I don't remember where all of these are from, but I have some pumpkins. And then I have these really pretty um, sugar skulls. I call them sugar skulls just because they're white and glittery and they remind me of sugar skulls. Um, and then I have some witches hats and then the little booties and um, all of those. I know the bottom ones are from Dollar Tree. So that's that on the ephemera. I do have a couple more. Whoops, I picked up from Dollar Tree this year. Um, but I'll get into those in a little bit. So moving on to paper, I have these really pretty um, loose papers. And then I can't wait to use this one, um, which I just think is really cute. And then this really cute one, I believe this one's from Joann's with the little jack-o'-lanterns. And then this really pretty leaf one. And this one I'm actually dying to use. I want to make some uh, rosettes with my Tim Holtz die. So I'm really excited about using that. Uh, and then these paper pads are actually from Michaels. But they were in a bag and the um, some my niece has spilled some juice or water um, on the floor where the bag was. So it seeped through and these are kind of warped. More specifically this one. This one's called Pumpkin Spice. And this is from Michaels from last year. But the good thing is even though it's a little bit warped, I can still definitely use these. So really pretty. Lots of really pretty fall colors. Um, my local Michaels, which is like an hour away, I've had horrible luck finding the fall and Halloween pads this year so I don't even think I'm gonna be able to find them which really sucks because I really want the um, pastel Halloween pad but oh well this one's called happy fall I'm I think this is actually from two years ago um, and this one's from last year this one I definitely love this one's really really pretty so I'm definitely going to be using this one this one's really cute. Lots of like really pretty light pastel colors. So that's that. And then in here I have some more of my newer items, new-ish items. So I have a whole bunch of different things. So I picked up these um, raffia ribbons or cord or I guess whatever you want to call it. I picked up these really pretty um, fall colors and then the natural one I actually already used this for the baby shower that I said I hosted um, and then I picked up these little pumpkins and baddies 
And then this one, I don't know if you can tell, but it has little ghosties in the back. Um, how far in are we? Okay, so we're at five minutes. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible because I actually have quite a bit to go through. Um, then I showed these, I believe, in my last haul. These say Thankful, Harvest, and Welcome. So those are really cool. Um, and then I have these wooden embossed pads. I've actually used these a little bit. These are from Joanne. Um, these are are not embossed they just have a wood look to them but i wanted to see if i can maybe use these for rosettes but i'm not sure if it's gonna work because they're um six by six so we'll see um this one's also from joann's this one's really pretty hopefully you guys can see that but it has some really pretty prints um this one's from the target dollar spot i did have another halloween paper pad but i can't find it um and yeah, this one doesn't have a whole lot left because I did use it quite a, quite a bit previously. Um, so next up, I just want to get into dies. All of my dies are from AliExpress. So this one has different um, spider webs, and then I'm really digging this one up here. I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like little drips. I wanted to do like a green glitter and then kind of line it on a little card or something and then it has little spiders and a small bat. I thought that would be really cool. Um, then this one can be used for, um, I think it can be used for Christmas as well, but it was advertised as a Halloween die and it's a lollipop or it can be a little candy and those are the little wrapper things on the sides. So I thought that was really cool. And then this little die right here, hopefully you guys can see it. Hopefully there's not too big of a glare. But this is a tag um, for a little, what's it called? A spider web that has a spider web in the front. Um, and then this one right here, oh, there's a glare. Sorry, guys. Um, but I keep my the majority of my dies in these little CD cases from Target. So these are little pumpkins. I had ordered some gourds, but they never arrived. So I ended up having to dispute that. Um, then this isn't necessarily uh, fall themed, but this is actually for a coffee cup or a frappe. Um, and I wanted to do like some spooky themed ones and also like a pumpkin spice one, which I thought would be really cute for fall. Um, and this is a skeleton. So those are all of my dies that I'm going to be using. Um, of course, I'm not including like um, plain ribbons and um, like trim and stuff like that. I just want to show you guys the stuff that I have that's specifically Halloween and fall themed. Um, then these are embossing folders with little leaves. So this one's our, this one is all straight like little lines and then this one has little leaves this one's from joann's this is from michael's okay and then for my stamps they're kind of from all over the place the majority of them are from aliexpress though so hopefully you guys can see this shoot i don't really have anything i can hold it up against this so this one has little witches and bats, cats, pumpkins. I thought this one was really cute. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a whole lot of stamping in my crafting, but I just wanted to pull out my fall stuff. So I did use these last year for um, some heat embossing on a card. And I did a background and it looked really pretty. Those are all leaves and those are all from AliExpress. And then this one's more of a fall slash harvest theme. This one's really cute. And then this one is all like bats and spiders. And then this one is mostly just leaves and flowers. But again, if I were to use it for heat embossing, I think it look really cute. Um, and this one, again, is not necessarily fall theme, but I think owls and foxes are really cute with fall themes. Um, so yeah, those are my fall stamps. And then just some other random things that I have. I picked up this, um, what is it called? Like spider web type of thing from Target. This one is from Dollar Tree. This is like that creepy cloth. 
Um, I thought I had a white version somewhere, but I couldn't quite find it. So I think this will be kind of cool to use. And then I picked up this one from Dollar Tree, which is a little bit hard to tell, but it does have gold spider webs. Um, and then, whoops, the rest of the items are just ribbons from different places. The majority of these are from Dollar Tree, pumpkins, leaves, and this one is really cool. Um, some more ribbons. I thought this one was really cool. I picked this one up uh, last year uh, during Clarence time. I think at uh, Joann's, I want to say, which is really pretty damask, but it has schools in it. Um, and then this one I also picked up last year, I think, at Michael's. And I love it with the little candy corns. Um, so I have those. And then the rest of the items that I have in this particular box in here are just little sequins that I thought would be fun to use for Halloween. Um, this one in particular is for fall. They're little leaves. Um, and then these are just really muted colors, which, I mean, can work anytime, but... I specifically wanted to add like these little um, spiders and cobwebs and I thought it would be kind of cool. And then these are really muted gray tones. So those are really cool and this is mostly um, newer items. Not everything is newer but some of these are newer items. And then I have one more box where I keep more things and I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and I'll be right back. Alrighty, so I am back and I use this 12 by 12 um, scrapbook box from Michaels to keep like all of my embellishments and things of that sort and other little random things. So I have this 97 cents um, fabric from Walmart, which has little cobwebs, which I thought was really cute. And then this little bag, which I received in a swap I don't remember what swap but I did receive that in a swap and then I have all these little like embellishments I have little spiders the majority of these I purchased last year for um, clearance after Halloween was over so this one's really pretty I'm loving this little pumpkin right here and then the little spiders with the googly eyes bats and these are really fancy um, <coughs> sorry these little pumpkins as well, um, some little stickers and more embellishments. These little skeletons are so cute. Um, these ones I think I got on clearance a few years ago, but I'm hoarding them from Target. A little ghosty and some pumpkins. Some more stickers, some more little felties. These really cute little tags. So I have a ton of stuff. I have this really cute little sticker book with cute random things. Some more little bags. Um, some more little spiders. <coughs> Sorry, this little ephemera pack that also has tags. Um, some more little embellishments. So yeah, I have quite a few things. Um, this little, these little witch hats, which are stickers, and they're really thin foam, which I really like, so I can't wait to use these. Um, and then I also have some fall things mixed in here. So these are um, cardboard or chipboard uh, leaves, and they're gold. These are some embellishments. These ones I don't remember where I got them from, but they're amazing. And I'm digging these like rose gold coppery leaves. Um, and then I also have these ones that I picked up recently, which I freaking love. They're just so pretty and shimmery. These are from Michaels. Um, this is from a swap a couple of years ago, I want to say, that I received, and I love those. Um, some more little embellishments and tags. These are from Tuesday morning. These ones I'm hoarding because they're... Um, like little rhinestones and they're so freaking cute and then these ones I picked up this year from uh, Hobby Lobby and then these are super cool they're holographic skeletons some little like vellum bags um, this is kind of like confetti um, these are little foam um, bats and ghosts 
And then there's also little black bats, which are super cute. Another little bag. And then I have this Spellbound, which I've already shared. Um, this one, which I'm planning to use for a scrapbook. And then some more little baggies, buttons, um, some ephemera cards. Um, and then these I have picked up from Dollar Tree, which I'm super excited to use these. I know there's um, like witch hats, but my Dollar Tree doesn't have those. So, oh well, it is what it is. And then I also have these little tags. These are really fun. These are I picked up from Target last year. So these are some really cute puffy stickers. These little kitties are adorable. These little holographic ghosties. And these are so fun too. I love these. Um, and then these are some kind of like epoxy stickers. They're really shiny and super cute. These are uh, some more puffy stickers, which I kind of like these longer ones or something like this. Especially these that say like boo. Those would be really cute on rosettes. Um, then I picked up these at, uh, what's it called? Uh, Michaels. Sorry, I blinked for a second. But these are so freaking cute. These are from last year, I want to say. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I got these all um, on clearance. But these are so cool. And I'm digging these little words in the front because those would also be really cool with rosettes and other embellishments. Um, these are glow in the dark cards. I wish you guys can see them, but they're glow in the dark. And there's some that are really, really cool. So can't wait to use those. Um, and then I have the beautiful or beautiful, whatever you want to call it. Uh, from Tuesday morning I have the 6x6 and some stickers these little puffy stickers that are so adorable from Target that I hauled in my last haul um, and then I also have some hate pumpkin which I've also hauled recently um, and then I have the 12 by 12 chipboard stickers <clears throat> in the back and then I have lots of spell cast items. Uh, let's see. These are all spell cast. These are all spell cast. And these are from Tuesday morning. Um, these ones, I don't remember where I got these thickers from. But these are really cool. Can't wait to use these. And of course, they're glitter. So, love it. Um, then these little stickers, I don't know where I got these from. I think I may have gotten them in a swap, but they're really cool. They look like little tickets almost. These are a recent haul as well. Um, and everything's falling. Oh, well. Um, and then this is the chipboard that I spoke of earlier. And then last but not least, I have these really pretty fall ephemera and papers as well as stickers. So yeah, that's the end of my crafty stash for fall slash Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I can't wait to start creating and sharing items. Um, I probably won't craft, do like craft with me's um, just because my time is really limited and I'm not sure what I'll be doing for the next couple weeks, but we do have a few events. Um, my anniversary is coming up and then um, <clears throat> my niece is going to be born really soon. Um, and yeah, I just have a lot of different things that are coming up, so I'm not sure how much time I'll have to craft. So more than likely, I'll do craft shares as opposed to craft with me. Um, but anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this wasn't too, too long, um, but I will see you guys soon. And have a very happy Halloween and a very fun time crafting for Halloween and fall. Alright, bye guys. I'll see you soon.